Namaste friends. Welcome to RH Chemistry. So in today's video, I am going to discuss about Comed Key 2020 previous year questions on alcohol, phenols, ethers and hydrocarbons. First you can take the screenshot and you can practice. Then I am going to solve in detail. So these are the first three questions. I hope you have taken. Then these are the four and here it is five, six and seventh question. Right, seventh question. Then eighth, ninth, ten, eleven, and twelve questions. So these are the twelve questions which I am going to discuss in today's video. Yes. Now we'll start with. So if you have visited for the first time to my channel, then I have given the uh, free PDF link, the uh, handwritten notes for these Comed K exams. In the name of CET, it is there, but it is useful for Comed K also. You can download by using that link and you can subscribe to my channel if you like the content. Yes. Now, first one. Ethanol, when warmed with iodine and sodium carbonate, gives a yellow colored crystalline solid, which is used in the preparation of antiseptic ointment. The yellow colored crystalline substance is... Remember here, whenever the question is like ethanol with iodine and sodium carbonate. Remember, iodine in sodium carbonate, NaCO3, Na2CO3 or iodine in, uh, you can say uh, in this particular case, this NaOH. So, uh, such type of NaOI, NaOI, all these are remember the halo form reagents remember halo form reagents so yellow color compound they are telling and iodine they have used then definitely iodo form should be the correct answer here so the reason for that is ethanol can undergo halo form reaction and remember halo form reaction can be undergone by ch3 chOH group should be there so it is there in ethanol and you can say CS3 C double bond O should be there. So haloform reaction can be shown by this. So iodoform is the correct answer. Then the decreasing order of reactivity towards electrophilic substitution reaction of the following compound is. So in this particular case, electrophilic substitution they are telling, correct? Huh? Electrophilic substitution reaction will be more for that compound which is having electron donating groups. Electron donating group which will increase the electrophilic substitution reaction which oh, because it will activate the benzene ring for electrophilic substitution so now we can say in this particular case so here no group cl no2 cs3 definitely cs3 is very good electron donating among all this so four should be more so two options left b and c then you can say <clears throat> then the option is benzene is a second both the option the benzene only it is there definitely not necessary to think about that right four more than one in both the case benzene is there then three and two if you consider cl and no2 remember in cl no2 is completely electron withdrawing group but in cl it is having some electron donating capacity on the benzene ring which means it can show plus r effect also on the benzene but no2 will show always minus r effect and inductive effect is also it is minus i because of that reason, remember NO2 is least, that is 2 is least, sorry 3 is least, then 2 is more. Hence the answer for this question is remember C, C is the correct answer. The unstable intermediate CCL2 is formed during, so it's very simple question actually depending on the option you can easily tell. Kolb's reaction remember with there we will use carbon dioxide. Definitely carbon dioxide, there is no Cl itself. itself. Fiddlecraft's reaction, we are going to use CH3Cl in presence of anhydrous AlCl3. Here also CCl2 question will not come. Williamson's ether synthesis, remember RONA plus Rx you are going to use. Here also this is not possible. But the very important thing is rimer timon reaction where you are going to use CHCl3 or CCl4. In both the case, remember... So CCL2 is going to form, CCL2 is known as electrophile, very important, although it looks like lone pair is there, it is act as a nucleophile, but remember it is an electrophile CCL2, so a dichlorocarbon we call it as, that is formed only in rimer timon reaction, so the answer is D. Then, fourth one, 
विच इज द करेक्ट ऑर्डर फॉर द बॉइलिंग पॉइंट ऑफ द फॉलोइंग कंपाउंड Now you can say boiling point of the following compound depending on what. So hydrogen bonding is one case. So generally alcohols are having more boiling point compared to ethers. The reason for that is hydrogen bond. Second factor is that as the molecular mass increases, boiling point increases. So out of the four compound, propanol, butane, ethoxy ethane, and butanol, definitely butane is hydrocarbon having least boiling point. definitely butane is the hydrocarbon having least boiling point least boiling point means you can you can see that least boiling point so only two options left that two not two also only one option that is sign you can see here it is like this but the sign should be this one correct correct order they are telling not increasing or decreasing butane more is wrong right so butane less is correct butane less is here also it is correct but so after that remember you can see butane butanol is less is there butanol so this option is also wrong this is wrong this is wrong so the option only option left is remember option number c because butane is hydrocarbon least then i will tell you ethoxy ethane and propanol when you compare definitely butanol is highest because four carbon atom compound and also alcohol definitely having high boiling point then when you compare molecular mass is more for this diethyl ether also we can call it as but boiling point is more for this because of extensive hydrogen bonding propanol is more then ethoxy ethane then butane so the answer is c phenols are highly acidic than alcohols due to remember phenols are acidic than alcohol we know that because whenever what happens when phenol give h plus ion it will form phenoxide ion phenoxide ion so phenoxide ion is more stable due to remember so uh, resonance resonance because of that reason phenoxide ion stability phenol is more acidic so the answer for this question is d remember d is the answer then when phenol is treated with chloromethane in presence of alcl3 we will get see phenol is treated with chloromethane phenol is treated with chloromethane ch3cl in presence of anhydrous alcl3 or alcl3 also if they give so this is the thing but friedel crafts alkylation reaction alkylation reaction remember so you are going to get so this is electron donating group correct ortho and para product you are going to get so oh here and ch3 here this is called as ortho cresol and you are going to get the compound oh here and para position ch3 it is called as para cresol hence the answer for this question is d then when vapors of isopropyl alcohol isopropyl alcohol is like this ch oh ch3 so this when it is passed through copper so passed over heated copper 573 kelvin you will heat so get acetone acetone formula ch3 c double bond ch3 it is an example for which type of reaction they are asking now you can see which type of reaction it is so for that you have to say dehydration means water should be removed here you can see removal of water is not there dehalogenation means halogen is removed there is no halogen itself dehydrohalogenation means hydrogen and halogen is removed so hydrogen is not there then left is dehydrogenation here how this product is formed you can see this ch and this ch is removed so minus plus ch2 i will write it here correct so when this h and this h is removed so double bond is formed between carbon and oxygen so hydrogen is removed hence the answer for this question is dehydrogenation dehydrogenation is the correct answer remember dehydration means water molecule is removed so water molecule is not removed only h2 is removed so answer the answer is d eighth one the compound which is on hydrolysis on ozonolysis produces a mixture of propanone and ethanol so propanone and ethanol what is the alkene they are asking so compound is uh, compound of, uh, compound is they are asking so which compound which alkene is found see how to identify i told you in case of the hydrocarbon chapter if you are not seen please go through my uh, so, uh, final punch series hydrocarbon chapter so what you have to do these two product will write in such a way that this double bond o double bond o should be opposite to each other so ethanol means remember ch3 h acetaldehyde and propanone is remember c ch3 it is co and it is ch3 right now this two oxygen you remove and you attach double bond here so it becomes ch3 c 
CH3 double bond C CH3 and H here. Now naming this compound. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 methyl but 2 in is the product uh, alkene. So the answer for this question is D. Like this you have to identify. Right? Whenever it will be given, write this this double bond opposite to each other, you can easily get the answer. Which of the following is not used to distinguish ethane from ethene? Remember, ethane from ethene. So ethene and ethane and ethene. C double CS2 double bond CS2. Now you can see when you add Br2 in CCl4, bromine is one bromine added to this, one bromine added to this, so that only it will react with ethene. Hence, this will distinguish between ethene and ethene. I2 also similar manner, it will add to this, it will also distinguish these two. And remember, out of these two, alkaline KMnO4 also forming OH here and OH here. Diols is going to form when it reacts with alkene, but it does not react with alkene. So, now left out is ammonical Cu2Cl2. Ammonical Cu2Cl2, remember, this one will react with, reacts only with, remember, only with terminal alkynes, terminal alkynes, remember, alkynes, just like CH triple bond CH. So in such case, what happens? This is acidic hydrogen or this is acidic hydrogen, which will react with ammonical Cu2Cl2 or they can give it as ammonical AgNO3 also. Both are correct answer in this particular case. Remember that. So ammonical CuCl2 is the answer here, which is, which cannot distinguish ethane and ethene here. Then olefin, which is on ozonolysis, gives cs 3 cs 2 ch and cs 3 ch is. Once again, olefin means what? Double bonded compound. Remember that. Olefin is nothing but double bonded compound. So now, see, bus, first these two, you write the product as it is, like this, remember. So, CS, I will write like this, C double bond, right? H here, so CH2 and CH3. And this one, C double bond, CH3, H here. Now, this oxygen and this oxygen you remove. Make a double bond from this carbon to that carbon. So this becomes CS3, CS2, C, double bond C, CS3 and H here and H here. Now you have to name this 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 2, 2 pentene is the reaction. The uh, alkene is 2 pentene. Remember 2 pentene is the answer here. Then the reaction of methyl magnesium bromide with ethyl alcohol gives methyl magnesium bromide CH3 Mg Br react with ethyl alcohol C2 H5 OH forming a product. In Grignard reagent detailed video I have made in Chemtonics series you can see that on Grignard reagent very important I have made that video very very important for NEET, CET or JE also and Comet K also. So in such case what happens is this alkyl group reacts with only acidic hydrogen. Only it takes acidic hydrogen along with that forming CH4. It will not react with C2H5. Whenever acidic hydrogen is like this, water also, amines also, primary amines, secondary amines, like this remember it will take this hydrogen from this compound and making CH4. If it is C2H5 then ethane is from C2H6. So here CS3 is given methyl, so hence it is methane is going to form. So answer for this question is B. The twelfth one, geometrical isomerism is exhibited by. So palmitic acid, butyric acid, these two are carboxylic acid. Remember carboxylic acid. So there is no double bond is present in it. Aspartic acid is an amino acid. So in this also double bond is not present. But synamic, see geometric isomerism condition is double bond should be present. Synamic acid is like this, remember. Synamic acid structure is like this. CH double bond, CH, COOH is the name structure. So synamic acid, remember there is a double bond. Hence this can show geometrical isomerism. So these are the 12 questions which is from alcohol phenol ethers and hydrocarbons. Previous year asked question in Comet K before 2015 papers all these are. 
So after that online exam was there, so I am not getting the question paper out of that. So definitely, I hope that it will help you for this. Along with that, you see that the final point series of this organic chemistry also it is very very helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.